I lived in a haunted house. <laughs> and uh, if there's a haunted house, then somebody, there is an afterlife. If, because we, there was definitely a haunted house. Where'd you live? It was, uh, it was a lake house outside of Austin on Lake LBJ in Kingsland, Texas. And we had to sign documents at closing saying that it, that it had been told to us that it was a haunted house. You have to do that in Texas. If, if there's, uh, <laughs> and they had had... Uh, they had two mediums and I'm an extra large, and uh, but two different mediums came in and said the same exact thing. It's the the ghost's name is Whitey Sour. Oh my God! And uh, he was the barber for the town, and uh, and and they couldn't tell why he was still there, but he was obviously there. He could take, uh, and he would do these things in front of people. You could put take a pot of water right out of the tap, put it on the stove, stove turned off. And just sit there and wait, and it'd start to vibrate, and then it'd vibrate to where the waves came in from the center to the middle, and then bounce up in the middle. And then you could get a hold of it because you're obviously st stronger than the ghost. You could settle it back down and let go of it, and uh, and he would do it again. So uh, you know, so I and I know that is. I mean, I happen to just know that to be a fact that uh, I lived in a haunted house. So there was. How many people do you think have actually lived in a haunted house, and how many people are just fucking crazy? Because that's the problem. If you really did live in a haunted house, and I believe you did yeah you know that some people <laughs> who have told similar stories are just fucking crazy and that might be the problem the problem is trying to differentiate between real unusual experiences which may or not be possible that can happen to anybody right just because it hasn't happened to you or hasn't happened to me I'm walking through life assuming that it's bullshit. But if it did happen right in front of you, you'll like, go, holy shit, how am I going to describe what this is? How many right. people and are pretending things like that are happening now? I don't know. You know, that's, but it's just something that I've always been able to say after I've lived there that, wow. that I know for a fact that something happens afterwards. And, and uh, I had a talk with uh, Whitey. I bought the house and was still making payments to his daughter. And uh, whenever we first moved there, uh, uh, my girlfriend at the time, her uncles helped move her stuff down there and they had a bunk bed set up in my son's room but they didn't one of them had a mattress on the bottom but not on the top and he put his shoes up there and during the night for no reason the shoes got pushed off and fell and hit him in the chest and uh, it was totally whitey and uh because that's whitey. fucking whitey and so the next day uh, i walked into that room and i said uh, uh whitey listen i'm gonna make a deal with you i love it that you're here it's fine with me uh, uh, we have one of his chairs and, and, uh, that we wouldn't let anybody sit in. It was his chair. And so, uh, and, uh, and so I said, but I'm going to tell you something right now. You fuck with my little boy, I'm going to hit your daughter in the mouth. Because I, I saw her every month when I made the payment. So if he was going to jack with my little kid, Whoa. I was going to fucking punch some teeth in. You were going to punch his... His Not daughter? Really. Not really. Not really. But, but it's a good threat to yeah. a ghost. You threaten a ghost. That's so gangster. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know what? And he, he, and he never, never, ever uh, saw any activity in that room again. So My grandparents had I a house a where a, di a guy died in the house, and they always claimed that they saw him. He was like a, um, a guy who rented a room in their attic, and uh, he died. And my grandmother always would swear that she could like hear him walking around up there, that he'd be there. You know, if there is... We know that all this is like most people hear ghost stories and they go, get the fuck out of here. It's because so many ghost shows. I mean, how many times can you watch a person go into a basement with a, one of those night vision screens on and look at nothing? And go, what did you, did you hear that? What was that? Oh, right. my God. Oh, and they'll have entire the television shows dedicated to one thing yeah. and it, like an egg will move an inch over a year or something. I think it would be super arrogant to assume that it's not possible that ghosts are real, that you just haven't experienced them yet. Most people haven't experienced them. Because if yeah. there's all sorts of types of life, right? There's people that are born with birth defects that make them tiny and other people are born with gigantism and death is, and life itself. It's not like this perfect mathematical science. It's filled with all sorts of mistakes and errors and weird shit. If there's a transition between this stage of life and the next stage of life, would we assume that it would be perfect? No, we'd assume if there is a spirit or some sort of a soul in people, we would assume that that transition sometimes misses. And sometimes you get caught in like the howling in between the worlds and you just ricochet back and forth off of both places. Well, you can't unsmoke that joint, can you? You can't. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore.